I'm ready for a road trip and you? <laughs> Hello and welcome to another show with potato cowgirl, no cooking. I got a lot of feedback on my last uh, two um, um, videos and some people want to see more, you know, it's about creating fall transition outfits without buying something. And today I want to also emphasize um, lightweight outfits that will not uh, uh, will not weigh much on your RV capacity because we are going on a road trip very soon in October. It's my birthday and our wedding anniversary. As you know, we married on my 50th birthday. I want to, wanted to make it easy for Clay only to remember one day a year. <laughs> and um, um, we go to, we take our motor home, the Garlic Princess, and we will go to Buellton uh, in an RV resort. Really nice, well, upscale with um, heated pool, jacuzzi, and all the, the good stuff. And this is also close to Solvang in Santa Barbara. And Buellton, if you if you saw the movie Sideways, so you know where we are, <laughs> where the guy ran naked through the ostrich farm. Uh, we are not gonna do that, but we might go for some wine tasting. Anyway, I wanted to show you because space and weight is always an issue when you traveling with your RV. I wanted to show you how what I do, how I plan my outfits. Uh, I'm a minimalist actually, <laughs> so I try to take as less stuff as possible. Even if I like 100 other outfits and, and want to put it in the RV, I completely stay away from that now. Because it really helps keeping your weight limit. Because you always buy something at, at, uh, in, uh, in your vacation and then it gets fuller anyway. So what I'm showing you today are outfits I'm taking two Solvang summer outfits I like and which I can transform into winter out uh, not winter fall outfits if it gets cooler if it rains you know stuff like that so this outfit I'm wearing is not part of the three outfits that's my travel outfit it's a it's my um, jeans um, French terry um, jeans, you know, just with, with an elastic, no, no zipper, because it's, it's so convenient when you drive, you know, it's not uh, hugging you too much, it's comfortable. Then as it is fall, I have that pumpkin shirt, I will wear that. And uh, as we go early morning, I just throw over that little old um, hoodie short sleeve I can have long sleeve when I drive but uh, I can take that off easily when it gets warm during lunch so that's a good outfit that hoodie also will surf uh, at the pool you can put it over your bathing suit when you get out of the water you know just to get back to the RV so it will serve several purposes I have that for a long long time 10 years at least Anyway, this, but this outfit doesn't count. And I can wear it um, with all the shoes I'm taking. My sandals and all the others. I'll show you the other outfits. Uh, I also only take uh, two pairs of earring and my rings I have on my fingers anyway. And maybe one bracelet. Um, the green and golden ball bracelet you will see on the other outfits but that's it so uh, that's my recommendation plan for your trips take very lightweight outfits and make your husband happy because you don't add to the weight he has to drive through the country <laughs> okay outfit number one summer version is coming up so this would be the summer look of this black, very lightweight uh, maxi dress, which I have, I think since 1996, since my first visit in the United States business trip. And I bought it um, at Nordstrom, yep. 
<laughs> since then I have that dress and it, it just I like it you know it's a it's an easy peasy dress I wear to go shopping you know uh, I think I wore it on on a date now and then but usually you know strolling like when we the upcoming trip um, for our wedding anniversary to uh, um, Buellton, Solvang, Santa Barbara, that would be a, a, a dress I would wear. A little purse here, fits good, uh, animal print to my sandals. And this is my summer outfit. However, show you the sandals again. I like those sandals, they're so comfortable. However, we don't know how the weather is. We go in October, you know, that's where my birthday is and the wedding anniversary. So we have, I have to think about a way to style that dress uh, fall transition wise. So that if it gets cold, I have still uh, an ability to wear something stylish, but warm. And, uh, you know, the, the space in, in the RVs are, are uh, limited, so you don't want to take, uh, at least I don't, winter clothes, summer clothes, spring clothes, fall, you know, it's just too much in your RV. Every, every little thing counts to your weight you, you carry. So uh, I came up, I, I didn't buy anything. That's the, the, that's the rules for this uh, styling videos I do. Uh, I dug up something in my closet and I think you will like it. Hold on. An abracadabra, the same summer dress you just saw, has been transformed formed into a winter outfit. I'm wearing a beanie, which I got at Bodega Bay last year at our anniversary. You know, we are at the coast, Santa Barbara, there can be more cold winds in the evening. That's a very light sweater. Not too warm, because it's only fall, you know. California, it's still mild, even if it gets uh, fall. So I come, uh, this animal print sweater to in a little combat uh, um, belt. I compared with this dress and combat boots. These are my, my, my combat boots. I like them because they have a zipper on the side, so you don't really have to untie them all the time when you wear them. I can always, if it's really cold, I always have a, a, a warm tight with me, which I can wear to that dress then. And I love that outfit. What do you think? Will you go out with me? <laughs> uh, I think it's great. So, and, and a little beanie will fit. We don't have it. We don't need it if, if we don't need it, but I take one in my RV. You know, if it rains a little bit or so, you can get away with that outfit, maybe with an umbrella. Don't need a warm jacket. Well, let's go to the next. Before we talk about this outfit, I just want to um, mention that animal print light sweater you saw in the, in the last outfit. Uh, the winter version <laughs> is from Torrid. And I got that. I think uh, last spring on the clearance rack. Uh, the outfit would work, the, the black dress with the animal print as well as that outfit for winter and summer would work with my log sole uh, sandals. But uh, as I plan for an RV trip, I try not to put too many shoes in it. Uh, I decided for the warm version, I have the combat boots, also with log soles. They were from Kohl's on the clearance rack, maybe four weeks ago. So you might just, we might all still get them. Because um, they, they are good for rain. They look stylish. And uh, for the sandals, I like the lighter version, which is this one. I can wear with all my, with all my, um, outfits and I showed them to you several times. Now to the summer outfit here. This is my beloved romper. I got that in, at Target. And 
I really like to wear it. Um, I got a lot of wear and tear out of it <laughs> so far. I bought it in spring for summer, for this summer 2022. And uh, I was wearing it uh, during our vacation in Humboldt County, during our, our RV trip. That's a lightweight, nice outfit. You can get away with wearing, you know, in the evening for a dinner or uh, for a city tour or, you know, just sitting uh, at the campground, why not? And uh, it also goes over the, the bathing suit really quick if you want to just wear something over the bathing suit to get into the store and get something or whatever. So that one I got a lot of wear out of. Now I show you the winter version. And here is the romper in the winter variation. I took a little belt and my Def Leppard cropped shirt. So that makes the romper warmer. You have a, you know, your back is warm. When the winds come up, it's still uh, cold enough. And I wear tights and uh, combat boots. I could wear the same thing without tights and my sandals. And uh, I try to be very mindful of um, combining classic look, you know, which I can mix and match so that I really don't have that to take that many clothes in, in the RV for a long weekend. Um, if it gets cold, this is a jacket I will take with me. That's my leather jacket and that will fit to all my outfits. It fits to the dress, it fits to that one. Um, I'm not sure if I take the tight, the green tights which I wear here. I just wanted to show you because they fit really well to the shirt. But a gray tight, the same style, a gray tight would work better with the, the dress, the black dress. So I probably decide to take the gray tight. But nevertheless, here's my second winter outfit and I buy nothing and I have summer and winter in one in one clothing piece and save a little space in the RV. Remember the Anne Klein blouse I bought uh, last week at Marshalls and the, the white jeans? Yeah, of course I want to take it to on vacation and it's new clothes. <laughs> So I need a variation for that one. I can wear these pants with my sandals, which I showed you twice now um, in this uh, video. But I also have these lightweight, time and true Walmart sneakers, which I really like. They don't weigh a lot, very RV friendly. <laughs> and I take them so I have the combat boots for the really uh, you can jump in rain puddles if you have to. I have those lightweight sneakers and I have my sandals. And that should be it for that long weekend. I don't need more shoes. Um, so that one, those animal print sneakers fit well. Uh, they mainly fit to everything. If you see, uh, I only have a few uh, patterns uh, things and, and combine them with beige or dark brown or black or you know s stuff that mixes and matches good so um, you already saw in last video the easy way to get a little uh, fall transition that would be that long duster if it's really still warm but uh, there's a little wind you know you want something over the shoulders, so that's the duster again. I'm really happy I, I have that. It's so versatile. But I also have something different. Hold on. Uh, if it gets a little colder. Here is my really warm outfit for this pants. And I don't care. I know people say you can't wear white pants after Labor Day. I wear them. I like my new pants. My like a jeans 
uh, very light, like a cotton jeans, I don't know. But uh, I left the end line shirt on, as you can see, because uh, this is this uh, hoodie can be worn over it. It fits perfect to the shoes, and um, if it's not cold enough, what you can do, what I usually do, is you know, if you don't know how the weather is, when you come home to the RV, back to the RV, you, you are on an exploring trip. So, uh, you usually like onion look. <laughs> so what I do is, I fold that in. I think that one was from Amazon. I bought that one time. Okay, I fold that in. And I wear it like that on my hips. And when it gets cold, I have something to wear over it, you know, no problem. And this is it for today. I showed you three summer outfits transformed into winter outfits. So you have for three days uh, uh, clothes, no matter if it's cold or warm. That's a complete weekend. And uh, perfect for going with the RV. Doesn't take you a lot of doesn't take a lot of uh, uh, weight capacity away, okay? Have a good one, and I see you again at the next cooking show with the Tater Cowgirls, how they say in California. Peace out.